Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit four, lesson 13, measurement error. Problem number one, the depth of a lake is 15.8 meters. A, Jada accurately measured the depth of the lake to the nearest meter. What measurement did Jada get? 15.8 meters to the nearest meter is rounded up to 16 meters because 15.5 and above would round up to 16 meters. B. By how many meters does the measured depth differ from the actual depth? 16 meters minus 15.8 meters equals 0 0.2 meters. The measured depth differs 0 0.2 meters from the actual depth. C. Express the measurement error as a percentage of the actual depth. 0 0.2 divided by 15.8 equals approximately 0 0.01265, which can be rounded to 0 0.0127. Written as a percent, that would be 1.27%. Problem number two. A watermelon weighs 8,475 grams. A scale measured the weight with an error of 12% under the actual weight. What was the measured weight? To find out, we need to multiply 8,475 times 12%. Written as a decimal, 12% would be 0 0.12. So 8,475 times 0 0.12, that equals 1,017. 8,475 minus 1,017 equals 7,458, the measured weight, which is 12% less than the watermelon's actual weight. Problem number three. Noah's oven thermometer gives a reading that is 2% greater than the actual temperature. A. If the actual temperature is 325 degrees Fahrenheit, what will the thermometer reading be? 325 times 2%. Change 2% to a decimal, and it would be 325 times 0 0.02. And 325 times 0 0.02 is 6.5. 325 plus 6.5 equals 331.5. So the thermometer reading would be 331.5 degrees Fahrenheit. B. If the thermometer reading is 76 degrees Fahrenheit, what is the actual temperature? We can set this up with the temperature plus 2% of the temperature equals 76 or T plus 0.02 T equals 76. We can place a 1 in front of the T, and now it reads 1 T plus 0.02 T equals 76. Add them together, and now it reads 1.02 T equals 76. To solve for T, we can divide both sides by 1.02. The actual temperature is approximately 74.51 degrees Fahrenheit. Problem number four, from seventh grade unit four, lesson four. At the beginning of the month, there were 80 ounces of peanut butter in the pantry. Now there is one third less than that. How many ounces of peanut butter are in the pantry now? This represents 80 ounces of peanut butter, divided into thirds, this red section represents one third of the peanut butter. And the orange section represents two thirds of peanut butter. The information tells us that there is one third less than 80 ounces. That means that there's two thirds of 80 ounces left in the pantry. Two thirds of 80 is the same as two thirds times 80. So we can select A, two thirds times 80. Problem number five, from seventh grade unit three, lesson seven. A, fill in the table for side length and area of different squares. The first square has side lengths of three centimeters. So imagine a square with side lengths of three centimeters. Three times three equals nine. So the area would be nine centimeters squared. 
The next square has side lengths of 100 centimeters. 100 times 100 equals 10,000. So the area of this square would be 10,000 centimeters squared. The third square has side lengths of 25. 25 times 25 equals 625. So the area for this square would be 625 centimeters squared. The final square has a side length of S. S times S equals S squared. So the area would be S squared, centimeters squared. B. Is the relationship between the side length of a square and the area of a square proportional? For the first square, the side length times 3 equals the area. For the second square, the side length times 100 equals the area. The next square is the side length times 25, and the last square is the side length times s. As you can see here circled in blue, the side lengths were multiplied by different numbers to get the area. The answer is no. Since there is no constant of proportionality, the relationship between the side length of a square and the area of a square is not proportional. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.